good morning guys good morning i'm actually so annoyed <laughs> only abby was sad of vlog <laughs> being annoyed well it's not really it's not a big deal because i thought today was gonna be abby's day my plan today was to actually i don't even know if i've even explained i don't know all this vlog but i'm back from montenegro of course Montenegro was amazing um, after I came back I haven't really been vlogging but I've been going out we had a little oh gosh let me just you guys yes we had a little um, what's that thing called reunion so it was Pamela's brothers oh the story is kind of long now so Pamela's brother um, is on the voice the voice UK so we were invited um for the watch party i do have snaps so i'm gonna try to put the snaps here so you guys can see it was really really nice we few of us that are in london um except deal deal didn't come we went to pamela's house and we had a lunch party oh my i'll be back let me delete some footage because then it's gonna die <sighs> so okay so a few of us went over to Pamela's house and we had the watch party I think I said it was really nice to reunite with um, the Montenegro group <laughs> um, yeah so that was that <coughs> I think that even happened on uh, sat on Saturday today is Monday by the way and the week before i've just been literally been sleeping i was really sick during kind of the last day in montenegro and the sickness you know came in when i came to the uk and all that and also also anti flu came so the the, the days last two last week last week i was just not myself so you guys don't really miss, miss much um, the only thing is the internet in my house hasn't been working so the engineer was supposed to come in this morning well they did say my appointment is from about 8 to 1 but then I wanted to use today to do something for myself because I wanted to go I just wanted to treat me today I wanted to do world treat every day today and I wanted to squeeze in. I like. I wanted to go literally in the morning. I thought they were gonna come like eight o'clock. It's ten thirty now. They are not here. So if they come at one o'clock, that means I'm gonna have to rush everything I need to do because I need to come back home to pick JD. So that's why I'm annoyed. Cause I like to plan my things. And when they don't come, when something is kind of, you know, messing it up, it kind of upset me. I just pray like the engineer comes because. The kids are, I'm tired of them using my hotspots, but we can't watch TV. So they use my hotspots on the desktop and on the laptop and on, on the phone, but they don't have internet to watch on the TV and all that. So my Wi-Fi is the one that is not working. I do have internet on my phone. What other um, updates do I want to give you guys? Oh, I don't know if you guys saw earlier. Um, I'll probably show you guys. I have and literally emptied my living room with all my decoration because your girl I started prepping for Christmas. Um I've brought everything out. I still didn't record that, but hopefully I still have the snap. I don't know if my snap was safe. I kind of brought out all my boxes of ornaments and stuff. So but my living room is kind of empty, like my shelves are empty. Um I'm so excited to start decorating for Christmas. I know people will be like, it's too early. Guys, I do start my Christmas decoration October 1st. Yeah, because I decorate literally everywhere in my house. And I'm the only one doing it. So I want to enjoy it. I don't want to, December, I don't want to be doing it in December. So that mm -mm, I really want to enjoy my christmas so yeah that's what we are doing today and also actually on friday i went out i went to go and see what is in store for christmas and all that i think i went tk max which i'm gonna show you guys no actually i went was it tk max first 
I think B and M. I'm not sure. Wherever I went to, I'll insert the clip right now. <laughs> Okay, so that is all they have in store. Not much of a lot of Christmas stuff that I want. Actually, I lied. I pick up some stuff from TK Maxx. Just one stuff. Maybe I'll show you guys collection of my Christmas decoration stuff that I picked up. Or that I will be picking up if I buy more stuff. But so far, so good. I haven't. Nothing has tickled my fancy. So, which is good. Um... Guys, I just want these people to come. This engineer, they should come quickly. Like, I need to get out of this house. I don't want to waste any day today. And I want to also want to see a movie. I don't know how I can put all of that together. Actually, I can see a movie in the evening, but I don't want to be out and in again. I just want to be out and out. If they don't come on time, then that means JD would have to do after school club. Oh my gosh, you see, I'm so pissed off. I wish I can have a double, double Abby. I can go and do my thing, and the other person can help me pick Jaden up. Jordan is fine. I know people be like, what about Jordan? Jordan is a big boy. Jordan has his own key. You know, I think he, mo he may have some club activities that he's doing today. Um, so it's only Jaden that I have to kind of be like, picking up trying to secure him maybe after school club or you know and all that but yeah well when i came back from montenegro i got some beautiful flowers like every time i come into my living room they just make me so happy my battery is gonna die again oh gosh i mean you need to start editing i'll be back <laughs> okay guys so those are the flowers that i got when i came back from montenegro the roses <gasps> they're beautiful because when we came back my god it was raining in the uk i was like what the hell last yesterday i was drinking cocktails and stuff and today we're drinking hot chocolate what kind of life is this i like the way the roses are kind of like opening up more and more i want to help this one to open guys look at this one this one is so beautiful. Jaden also made me a card. Also, those are the shelves that I was actually talking about. Like, I've emptied everything. We are about to start decorating for Christmas. That would not be there. I've moved the mirror that was there. Where did I even put it? I've put it somewhere. I'm always moving things in my house. So, nobody should be attached with how I decorate my house. Because I don't have, I'm not committed to anything. And also, those flowers as well. That was my cup of tea and I was sitting right over there. The living room is pretty much undecorated, which is fine um, because I'm ready to kind of put my Christmas decoration. I might bring this down um, soon. Um, so look, the living room is pretty much empty. But you know what? I really like coming downstairs and seeing this red flowers and and red stuff i love it and if you're wondering oh so where are all the christmas decorations that you said you brought out then <laughs> this is all of my christmas and there's some on top of the fridge and some on the 
this thing over there but these are all my christmas um decoration all these boxes are really really good i think i picked them up from maybe asda or something but the trees are upstairs so and i might even show you guys where the trees are but yeah oh can this engineer come please um, I really want to be out of this place. Oh, oh yeah, so this is where that mirror is now. I don't have commitment when it comes to decorating my house. Um, and everything is here. I really need to repaint all these banisters and stuff. But maybe after Christmas. Let me show you guys the trees and the garland and everything. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to like do Christmas. Christmas is calling me. And I'm calling Christmas. I'm calling Christmas. So these are all the garland. All this packing stuff are really, really, really good. So all the garland, all my reef and everything is in here. And I think in here I have three trees in this. That's the box I went on holiday with. So I can put them under the bed now. So that's, I think three trees are in there. And that's how I pack all my that's how i pack all my christmas decoration um as you guys know i do not live in a mansion i live in a small flat and there's no storage but i do create storage um within the house those uh, christmas trees are always underneath the kids bed because there's space in there and yeah i really want to go outside that's the plan i'm tired of staying inside like i am literally tired of staying inside when i came back i was at home i was just sleeping i slept for three days the only thing i was doing was eating anyway i'll come pick you guys up later when i'm not inside this house i need to get out morning morning oh gosh the last time i saw i'll be back i'm back I love having been so early to IKEA in my life. Today is Monday. Last time I spoke to you guys was probably like last week Monday. And we are inside IKEA but we can't go inside because it doesn't open till 10. It's literally like 6 minutes to 10. Um, I don't know if I can go back downstairs. So, I'm going to go back downstairs. I actually want to start from the bagging center I'm gonna see if they can allow me in so I think it's only the feed cut that is open and it's raining <sighs> let's go downstairs oh also they have their mini Christmas stuff five minutes can you imagine maybe I'll go to the toilet <laughs> Actually, let me get a trolley. Oops, I'm, ah, I'm the first person in IKEA. First one in IKEA. I need to go to the fun fact about me. I love IKEA. And I start from I like to start from the bargain hunt, so I go the other way around. The bagging corner is so empty. Gosh, there's quite a lot of nice stuff. I like this though. I like this fake Christmas tree. It's really beautiful. Did you guys know um, IKEA so <laughs> breakfast this breakfast is three pounds 
Well, with a coffee, five pounds. I didn't know that. I actually wanted the meatballs, but when I saw the bread crust, people hum sweet hum i did say i wasn't gonna bore you guys in ikea my hair is so wet it's trying to see if we the weather today is it's just not it's not nice let's just leave it like that it's not a nice day we're gonna end this particular vlog with the things i've been collecting i feel like this vlog has been literally everywhere Oof cold outside my flower is dead this was the flower i got when i came back it's dead i need to literally put them away and jordan no jd made me this card when i came back from montenegro when was this anyway maybe three weeks ago as i said you guys can say this vlog is literally like a long time let me zoom you guys i feel like you guys are too that's better so where should we start from actually last week i did pick up some few beats and bob should i start from lush because i was wanting i was eager to go out to go to lush because i really wanted to get their new fragrance or pe no perfume body spray the sticky dates last year i did miss out actually this is my order from lush that i picked up last week um to be honest i've been using them i have been using them because this sticky date if you didn't get your hands on it i don't know if it's too late check online because some store they kind of hide it they kind, i don't know what they do but they hide it i still want to get maybe like one or two more because i bought two i want to return i want to not return i want to take this back if you take your empties back to lush you get maybe i think with this one maybe one pound for one pound fifty like off so i'm gonna take this back these are my empties see it's really empty i even clean it for them i like that because i like i like recycle i like things to be i'm like there's enough waste in this life so if they say bring things back get some money off i'll do it i like recycling things so i always take these back to lush so i'm gonna take this back and i'll get more of the sticky dates i also pick up sticky dates soap i want you to get a body cream i want to stock up as i said i bought two two of this i've gone to hide this so i'm using this now for now like i have backup so should i bring my backup no it's fine <laughs> my backup uh you guys can't really see they're there but i bought that and i also wanted to try this lemony flutter uh, I feel like this would be really nice in the summertime. I have a perfume that oof, that is very zent and lemony. This is, um, I think, it's one of the Pen Harligans one. It's really every time I when I spray this, I was like, oh, this would pair really, really good with the, that my Pen Harligans um, fragrance. Um, I like this. This is lemony flutters. It smells just like lemon basically like lemon and these are body spray if anyone is wondering these are my body spray or body mist so these are not my perfume this would well lush products actually do last longer than some of this um, perfumes e.g. Zara <laughs> but I really enjoy um, layering them because i don't like to carry perfume around and all that so i like to use especially lush because their fragrance smells good and they last at least 12 hours if you do your you know personal care properly you know you wash you exfoliate your body and all that so when you come out of the shower just spray this all around your body underneath the you know the holes just spray them then when you wear your clothes spray the perfume that has the same kind of family like this lemon one you can maybe you know any fruity 
fragrance will pair really really well with this so yes yeah, so i always i have quite a lot of backup of um lush body spray they can be a bit pricey this one i think this one because it's limited edition is about 30 pounds and this one maybe like 25 it's between 25 and 30 but they really really worth it this is also one of, actually should i open this can i tie it back it's for me i don't understand the time back um this one is one of the one the one i thought they discontinued this i used to like Yog knob, yog knob, but they, they didn't do it for a very long time. And when I saw it in store, I was like, whoop whoop. Actually, when I when I was there, the girl gave me this um sleeping dust for free, you know. She was like, oh, because she was like, she was trying to sell things to me. I was like, girl, don't sell um lush for me. I love lush products, so I knew what I wanted and I I bought everything that I wanted. She wanted to sell me Snow Fairy. I was like, girl, I'm a Snow Fairy girl. I have like backup of Snow Fairy because there was a time that Snow Fairy was always difficult to find and it only, it only comes out like December time. So she was like, oh my god, you love lush. I said, yes, I do have a lot of a lot of their products. So she gave me this for free. And what I do with this sleeping dust is it's basically like lavender and some stuff. I don't have my glasses so I can't see you just sprinkle this on your bed and it's just really really nice I might buy this again it's really really nice it just it just makes a bit really really smells nice as I was saying I was trying to open this yog nog it's been long I've smelled this but she actually persuaded me to buy this whole set because I just wanted to buy the spray and the distance oh look at that that's really nice I like this oh look at that this is a shower gel so it's like little little i like all those little things they have in there i have some projects that i'm doing i'm gonna definitely use all these things oh there's a bath bomb as well mm -hmm. oh this is so nice look look this is the yog knob body spray so it comes as a set um let me familiarize myself with this smell i really like this this will be really nice if you know you're traveling and all that like small ones like this hey if i can remember this yog not smells like toffee that's what i remember the scent yes toffee basically toffee there's even one perfume of lush that i remember yeah yog nub is like toffee yeah what else is inside oh and the small one oh they have the yog nub lotion as well so it comes with soap perfume and bath bomb as well see i remember when i, when I used to buy a lot of them the bath bomb but the way the children the way my children always just throw those things inside water i fear my head anyways so that is all i got from lush Oof, now i smell so good even though i've used my perfume today and everything but i still smell amazing um so that was from lush i also went to tk max i think i did show you guys i mean it's a bit too early for christmas but me i like to look at you know whatever they've got for christmas so that i can what's my hair saying so that i can see but this year i don't really want to buy a lot of anything because i have quite a lot of christmas decoration but this was so beautiful guys no i just couldn't i remember in america audi had this and I remember it was going really viral last year. I just felt, you know, the fear of missing out. That was what I was having when I couldn't get this in the UK. But now it's kind of very popular now. I went Primark yesterday. I saw the very like tiny version of this. But when I saw this in TK Maxx, I picked it up. I have a lot of reindeer decoration for Christmas and i've never had a metal one and i feel like actually all my ceramic and all that every other material of my render they are break they are broken so i have to kind of get like super glue and all that and glue them but this one is metal and i like it and i like the texture 
of it even the details around it is just really really nice i honestly you guys can't wait for you guys to see how i'm going to literally decorate this for christmas oh, i love it it's not christmas without rain there don't be deceived also in tk max oh my god when i saw this i was like nope you're coming on with me even though i do not like rats but <laughs> people in my house now ah jenny knows i don't like rats like i hate when kids drop food on the floor because i just feel like that's an invitation for kids for those rats or mice to come in and i mm -mm. I, I, I just cannot stand them but i think i can stand this this is so cute when i saw this i was like yes this is Jaden. Jaden has left things on the floor and the rats or the mice has come to pick <laughs> they will put a little tail in it it's so cute i can't wait for you guys to see what i'm going to do with this for christmas i just feel like it's gonna be so pretty i like it it's just a rat trying to drag his christmas tree to his house actually there was two and i pick up the two guys and i buy things in two because i can just see how you know this can work in different places it's so so pretty it was 4.99 or 399 was some tk max I've, I've removed the tag so i can't tell you but i know it wasn't expensive that's why i picked the two i was like wow oh, and it's gonna be so cute for the kids like i mean i keep lying to myself that i do christmas for the kids but it's literally for me but sometimes they enjoy it but i feel like it would be nice even if i use it to decorate their room i think they would like it if this thing was not focused on my face but it's just so beautiful um so those are the two things i pick up from tk max guys see oh let's go to bnm bnm also they've the last time i went which was three weeks ago now they've had a lot of christmas stuff and i've been looking but i've not been buying actually i've only bought two stuff ah <laughs> look at this this is so beautiful when i saw this i was like yes i am definitely this is um this is me i'm just waiting for my santa i am the miss mrs claus and i love what how they're literally pecking they're not kissing they are pecking each other i think it's beautiful and the color is really really vibrant even just by putting it here it's just a very nice like christmas actually it's gonna stay here because i just love it it's the season to be jolly -la 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 -la. Uh -huh. and this one as well I like it. It says no wow, no, and it lights up. If I can find the light, I know it lights up. Ah, there you go. It's beautiful. So I like the sleigh. I like the color, and yeah, I think this was three ninety nine as well. Three pounds, three pound fifty. I think it's really nice. You can, you know, put this on top of a book. You can leave it by itself. You can hang it like this. You know whatever you want to do with it that's all i've picked up i know usually christmas time right this time i'm like oh i like this i like this i like this but you know maybe it's just too early but it's november i mean it's november 12 or 13 or something so usually christmas stuff i kind of running in that's all of them oh i need to pour this my yolk knob and all that last but not the least tiki max <laughs> tiki max ikea that i went today i didn't know ikea sell breakfast i was just walking past the food court though i was just seeing people carrying breakfast i was like what i can't sell breakfast i went there it was three pound fifty for breakfast like full english like eggs actually they didn't give me egg because they said it run out because i went late so there's egg sausage ash brown bacon basically full english except toast so I paid five pounds because I got coffee, five pounds fifty. Anyways, what did I get? Why did I go to IKEA? I went to IKEA because I wanted new curtain and I also wanted a knife. I didn't want to buy expensive knife. Jordan has broken on my knife. The only <laughs> the only knife we have is the one we use to cut bread. So I was like, oh let me just go IKEA. IKEA we have um a cheaper one. And also 
one of my lamp that I have the bulb is broken and the only place I can get it from is from Ikea so that's why I went to Ikea and I wasn't expecting to be the first person in that Ikea today but I did enjoy and I found out that Ikea does breakfast but it closes at 11 yeah what did I pick up before I keep my um, continue ranting I saw this pillowcase um, I do have about well maybe three or four pillowcase so i have 50 by 50 i think i have no this is 50 by 80 i think so that 50 by 50 and i like to get my 50 by 80 that means the long one from ikea i have all the colors except this burgundy and i just thought oh this would be so cute when i you know lay my bed or do my bed for christmas and yeah and i also wanted another color because i have the gray I, I think i have the pink i have the white and i have the did I say grey? Yeah, grey. So I just picked this up from Ikea. Oh, I also saw these extension cords. I always need extension cords. Honestly, if I'm to build or to do my house again or this house, I will want sockets in every corner of the walls. My house, there's always the where the sockets are, they are so weird. So I always need extension to kind of elongate the old thing because a socket can be here and why i want to plug <laughs> is in that side so i need extension and i always like this ikea one they're so affordable it's two for the price of maybe say five pound or six pound for two so there's two extension cord and you guys know no well no well christmas time is coming so you need all these extensions to kind of connect all the old connect connecting actually I, I i went to take one from the boys room yesterday and the stress eh? oh it was too much i also saw carting i love ikea carting i love it i can't i mean it can be expensive but that's why i always start my shopping from the bagging section because you always find carting there and um i found this i'm not sure what the original price was but this was 13 pounds and i really really like it i like the white i actually wanted white this is for downstairs so if anyone don't know let me show you guys all my curtain which are those ones over there all my curtains are from ikea these are the kind of curtains i like and i buy two packs to make them really really like thick because i don't like them scanty so i buy i just get like two pack of them so this is one and two and it makes it would make your curtain full and not look so scanty this one is not blackout the one in my room is blackout like if i turn off all the slides you people can sleep in this room and enjoy it because everything is blackout but this one is not because it's going to the living room which i don't mind um and it was cheap 13 pounds so i'm gonna fix that i actually need to remove that curtain and put this one last but not the lip well, not the knife i said i wanted to pick i picked this up so and i'm gonna have to tell jordan to be careful because this is a very sharp knife i like this i like this set because you know you guys know that when you buy those big sets of knife i think the postman just dropped a letter um you buy those big sets of knives, not the knife you use, except for especially all those fancy, fancy ones. But I like how IKEA has done it. These are the most important knife that you need. You need this small one, you need this one, and that one. So I don't buy knife. Somebody should please tell Jordan not to break. I don't know how he breaks knife. I don't understand. I don't know where he's cutting. But he broke the last one that we, we were managing. So I, I just say, you know what, well, it's fine. I'll buy a new knife. And this was the bulb I picked up from IKEA. But I'm sure you guys will remember that my lamp that I bought because I'm always renovating and changing things. So it was me that actually broke it. So guys look, this is what I pick up. This is expensive, you know. Because when I was moving things, so and it's typically broke and I need that lamp. That's all I pick up from Ikea today and I'm just gonna relax in my bed. Big brother is back. I don't know if you guys know. Let me show you guys. That's big brother is back. So I'm gonna just I'm I'm just 
I've been piling it up. There's about a week worth of Big Brothers to watch. And um, that's what I'm going to sit down. Ooh, that smells so good. I wish you guys are in this room with me. Mixing all those things. My body it just smells so good. Ooh, the toffee and the lemon. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to relax. I still have a lot of time. I'm sure it's maybe like 11 or 12. Uh oh, it's not so. I'm going to pick up Jaden and yeah mondays i like to mondays are my sundays and i love it but it was raining today the rain today it was raining i was wearing the wrong jacket but it's fine i'm back home i'm relaxed and um i don't know when next i'm gonna pick up the vlog but very soon guys i also need to show this flower with you Erica, they are dead now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry if this vlog is always so long, short shorts. I've been doing this vlog now for maybe like two weeks, if I can remember, after coming back. Well, you have to be three weeks now <laughs> because I picked you guys up last week and I didn't pick you guys up again. And today is Monday. So I don't know when you guys are going to watch this. Anytime you guys watch it, are you guys ready for Christmas? Me, I'm ready. Me, I just want, I can't, I don't do Halloween. I don't do anything that is Christmas. I can celebrate Christmas from January to December. Yes. That's why I like Christmas. I can't. Oh, and also I've changed all my clothes to summer, from summer clothes. I, I didn't really show you guys all of that because when I came back from Montenegro, um i just pack all my summer stuff away so i have all my jacket literally ready for winter and i think that's what kind of stressed me out because i was just swapping clothes anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i need to go and dry this egg yeah. this the rain the rain the rain the rain See you guys later. Bye. See you later.